this morning to worship God. We have come here this morning to remember the sacrifice that Jesus made for us. We have come here this morning to remember the sacrifice of our fellow men and women. Jesus said, my command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. Let us join now together in praise and sing, Dear Lord and Father of mankind, forgive our foolish ways. Please be seated. Let us remember the kindness of God and his favour to us in our time of need. Let us remember the courage, devotion to duty and the self-sacrifice of the men and women of our, in our armed forces. The toil, endurance and suffering of those who were not in uniform, the support of those who sent us help from afar, or came and stood by our side. Let us remember those who were wounded in the fight, those who perished in air raids at home, those who fell in battle, and those that are buried at sea or in some corner of a foreign field and especially those whom we have known and loved whose place is forever in our hearts. Let us remember those who were our enemies whose homes and hearts are as bereft as ours whose dead also lie in a living tomb of everlasting remembrance. Let us remember those who came back, those whose lives still bear the scars of war, 
those who lost sight or limbs or reason, those who lost faith in God and hope for humanity. Let us remembering, remember the continuing grace of God, whose love holds all souls in life, and to whom none is dead, but all are alive forever. Let us pray. Most gracious Father of all mercies, we offer our thanks for the bounty of your providence and the renewing liberty of your grace. We rejoice in our inheritance in holy things and in the freedom and peace in which we live. Especially on this day, we give thanks for the remembrance we are privileged to make of those companions of our way whose, time, whose lives were given in time of war. Amen. I ask you to stand now. And I'll... Some of those who fell in the Great War were members and adherents of the congregation of this church. So now I am going to read their names. Stephen Falconer, Charles Hendry, Hendry Kidd, Colin Patterson, William Porter, Andrew Rieke, David Ritchie, George Ritchie, Charles Robertson, Charles Shelston, Charles Stewart, and Thomas Strachan. Shall grow not old as we that have left grow old. <clears throat> Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning we will remember them.
Almighty and everlasting God. This is the day that you have made. We have gathered here to remember and to give thanks. We do so in Jesus' name. Amen. Friends, we remain standing and continue with our worship. We sing together for all the saints who from their labours rest. Remaining standing, we sing for all the saints. May now I welcome you all here to St. Chandra's Church for this very special service during which of course we have um, shared together in an act of remembrance in common with folks across this country and beyond. Welcome again to you all. I want to make a very special welcome to friends who have joined us this morning from Royal Marine Condor. Uh, we have had uh, the Reverend Jamie, Jamie Milliken with us in days gone by. Jamie has been chaplain at Condor for a year and a half now or thereabouts, and he has facilitated um, various uh, connections with the Marines at Condor, for which we've been very grateful. For example, 
several times in recent years, uh, men from 4 or 5 Commando have helped with the loading and the packing of the container as it's made its way from here on behalf of the Delipso project all the way to Malawi. And we can only say that uh, the support and the, the strong arm and muscle of the Marines on those occasions has made a great difference. So we enjoy the relationship uh, that we have with Condor and we want to further it as we can in days gone by. Particularly, I want to welcome this morning uh, Lieutenant Colonel Ennis Catton, who's the commanding officer of 4-5 Commando. I want to welcome particularly uh, Regimental Sergeant Major Nick Olive, and I want to welcome this morning Marines Adam and Tyler. Uh, those are their first names and not their second, Adam and Tyler, along with Jamie, of course, and family members who are here too. Uh, by way of welcoming you uh, and letting you know that we value you and what you do, the service you offer, I want to ask if you would please all those who are from Condor this morning, please stand that we might acknowledge and welcome you to our church.